surprisingly. I consistently feel like my weapon does not go where I want it to go. Um, mainly as a result of a more limited move set. How much more limited? Hard to say. Not much in truth. Um, well, no, that's not entirely true because essentially having two forms cuts your potential move set in half. Right? Um, I'm just, I'm swinging, and being out of range is not the problem I have here. That's entirely my fault. The problem I have is I seem to swing this thing and have little to no idea where actually the, the, um, the thing will hit. It is not improved by a general lack of ability to aim effectively where exactly I'm trying to hit. See, like, you would think that would be a window. A window of opportunity. Um, evidently not. I'm out of things to say about this fight, truthfully. I'm not frustrated. I'm just trying to understand what exactly is being asked of me. I just have very mixed emotions about this game. Like, I, I love it. I love its atmosphere. I love its art style. I love its lore. I love its combat. And yet, it seems like it's actively working against me as the player. Not not in your typical Dark Souls way. Not in your typical... Like, this is hard, but fair. It feels like there is a fundamental aspect of the game that I'm not, like, clued into. It feels like there's a piece that I never got. Which I know isn't true. But it's like, oh, by the way, you know, there's this magical thing. I mean, maybe it lies in, in the parry mechanic. Um, but especially against large beast creatures, I haven't the slightest idea where that might actually come in. Maybe the hands behind. You see, that there's a hand right there. I'm not trying to hit your leg. Fun fact. I'm not gonna bother healing because I'm. Mm. That seems like the sweet spot. Another kind of neat thing about the uh, enemy design—they're they, almost neural. They look like a neuron. They're designed like a neuron, which is really cool. They have the um, the hairs, the dendrites all over them. The axial end is uh, large, as opposed to the terminal end. I actually like it. It's very cool, and I like the in my 
in my mind anyway, the fact that you're fighting your fear. Um, that's very cool. I think those hands back there might be the key. They might be the answer. My ability to effectively... Am I really out of bullets? Huh. Um... It doesn't matter. I don't see parry being a very valuable mechanic in this fight anyway. Um, as much as I would like it to be. But perhaps that would be too easy. Perhaps fishing for parries would be too direct of a way to fighting bosses. Well, fan flippantastic. I still think those hands back there have to be the, the sweet spot in this fight. If you can't hit the legs, which... What are you going to do about that, right? I'm not particularly happy about that, because honestly, this fight is... Eh, maybe, maybe that's... A bit of an overstatement. This fight is uh, tricky enough without... I, I would have difficulties completing the fight even if you could... Are you serious? Come on. Um, even if you could hit the legs. So the fact that you can't just makes it that much harder. Hmm. I hope to be able to complete this and have conquered the Nightmare Zone, be out of here, away from the whatever they may be, those big eye beasts. Hmm. This fight reminds me of another one, but I'm not quite sure which one. I keep getting kind of flashes of, um, God, whatever that joke of a boss is in Dark Souls 1. The Iron Sentinel or something? The, the, the big metal guy on top of Sen's Fortress. You know who I'm talking about. Um, it feels kind of like that, maybe just because of the arena, which, honestly, I love this aesthetic. I think I said that already. Um... Oh god. Oh god. Well, that was my mistake. Okay, yeah. God. The camera is my worst enemy in this fight. And his name is Space Waffles. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. How you doing, man? Welcome back. I'm getting my ass kicked, so you're just in time. By a giant neuron. It's cool, though. It's cool. This zone's tight. This boss is tight. Um, I'd like to be able to survive longer than five seconds against them. And I'd like to feel as though I have something that I can do. Um, but. Yeah, I'm getting seen it. I'm getting seen it into the ground. This guy has taken the chair to me and I cannot get up why, why are you on the monocular right now don't what did you just do oh yeah oh yeah there you go I don't th I don't need antidote in this fight but it bothered me anyway I wasn't trying to jump there but I don't think it's unreasonable to at least expect Jump to have some iframes. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's probably, to be fair, that's the worst I've done. That jumping straight into that is the worst time I've had. Um, 
that's why it was way better when jump was on stick. Why they didn't take a page out of the Dark Souls 2 team's book, I have, will never know, but... Step on that. Oh! <laughs> the pause after it was the funniest part. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know what to say about this boss anymore. I'm not angry. I'm not salty. Um, I'm not salty if only because the, uh, the run to the boss fight is so short. But, like, for real. I don't know where these things are coming from. I don't know how to avoid them. Other than just kind of roll frantically and hope I don't get killed. This hand, these hands in the back seem to be the, uh, the best avenue out. Can I keep you in this sort of, uh... Oh, God. I feel like in a lot of situations, there's not a whole lot to be done in this fight. It's dodge frantically and hope to God you don't get hit. You can stay behind him. And maybe I should just dodge through? Like, forward? Through the legs? and around to the backhand. I'm definitely not fighting at the face. That's for damn sure. And there's no running away from this thing. I need some adaptability. I need my rolling to be better. Rolling's okay in this game. It seems a bit weak in comparison to, like, Dark Souls rolling. Um... Likely because the strength of this game is actually in its in its um, fast-paced combat. Like hunter combat feels really cool. The um, I mean the Gascoigne fight demonstrates that perfectly. Fighting other enemies which have similar. I mean this is so much a Dark Souls fight, which there's no problem with that, but. I'm almost, like, in a position where I feel like I don't have the correct tools to do this with. My weapon's moveset doesn't give me the uh, reach I would like. Oh, good. Yeah, no, keep hitting the... Uh... See, like, look at this. Half the time I'm missing the damn hand. God damn it. But even as safe as that area is, I only hit maybe 30% of the time. Supposed to use the wooden ladle? Dude, doing any part of Dark Souls 2 using the ladle would be easier than this. And that's just because I, I think I'm still trying to play this like Dark Souls. And I'm suffering because of it. I want to play it like Bloodborne, but at no point has it actually taught me how to fight big-ass beasties in a Bloodborne fashion. I can fight little dudes, get up in their face, parry them, all of that kind of stuff. But as far as I'm aware, there's no way to parry these guys. Um, and with them being out of range for combat in most, most situations, it makes me play defensively. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Or, I said that on the spider fight, and apparently there's nothing I'm missing. It's just shit. Was I not rolling through that? Am I to be expected to know what the hell is going on in this fight? Because I can't see shit. I can't hit shit. 